because the edited is obviously the final rewrite is where it comes together. Can you sort of talk a little bit about those aspects of the show? Yes, certainly, I remember to think. Um, uh, okay. Well, you know, I think we've always sort of been ambitious, but this was a real chance to, to step it up. And we have an amazing defects department, and we name check from Nazca, Brand Bayek, and season three, Eric Hayden. And, you know, a lot of it was on the page. I mean, so, but we on this show get a real opportunity in which to sort of uh, completely uh, add, to the, add to what's going on. We have a lot of sort of say in, in agency in terms of the battle stuff. And, um, you know, usually it ends up, you know, Brandon does a, 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 a full, uh, it's called free biz pass to the sprint. And it's usually long, it's amazing, it's selling the story and stuff. And they'll come to me, and then we'll argue about it for two weeks. I'll tell them all the things that are missing, they don't come back to something more amazing. And then Seth will chime in, of course, and Seth has already sort of pre seen it. But it, it, you know, it shows up in a lot of our stuff, like the drone sequence, I think, was one of those things that was sort of like made in the edit room and in the, in the VFX um, department. And I think what you're seeing, what you saw, Domino is another one where. We're going to see our combined organic power make a real special episode. So, um, yeah, you know, having the having the runtime allowing us to sort of get into the nitty gritty of the battle has really made a huge difference. Brandon, you want to add anything? Well, I think that the, the, uh, the visual effects in this season are the best I've ever seen on television. The best is coming. You, we still have two episodes left there. That's so crazy, but that's so fast. I was going to say, can you talk a little bit about, though, about the editing room and how this show gets shaped? Because obviously, editing is a final rewrite. Have any episodes gone through some radical changes in ways you guys didn't expect? Radical changes? Well, I am very fortunate to work with the man on video over here and Brandon. A lot of this is actually on the page. So, and Seth, who's here, works as a film director. So we get to pour over the material in a way that I don't feel like we get to do on any television show, even other streaming shows. And the amount of being able to sort of craft a performance and, and, and think about the nuances of layering of, of character development and stuff, it's, it's, we're, just, we're just working at this high level. I don't know if this high level, I'm just working machine, but we're working at this high level. And um, I, I think the biggest, probably the biggest thing, and maybe Scott can chime in or agree, is that when we saw in season two of all things, the, the aftermath of the K Long battle, and obviously that, you know, that was a three minute um, battle that got expanded into seven minutes, and the, the sheer death and destruction and, and the emotionality of it all, that we realized we had to serve that story even harder. And I think we reacted to the fan base of it too. And I feel like if, if anything else, that that has set our course, um, you know, as much as any other thing that can happen in the end of So that, that's one thing that really sticks out to me. And then of course, like I said, like the battle sequence has been built 